object-based 3D surround sound, easily the most exciting concept in gaming audio right now. The idea of hearing sounds not just around you, but above and below as well in a full 3D space is a game changer for the software that supports it. The fact is though, Sony and Microsoft take two very different approaches to 3D audio with their respective consoles. The official Platinum headset on PS4, for example, is a premium set built with object-based 3D in mind. The sense of space is incredible in Uncharted 4 and plays well to the vertical climbing and shooting of the game. The problem? Well, Sony's approach relies on proprietary tech, only a few games support it, and it only works with this one expensive high-end set. Microsoft, meanwhile, has a more liberal approach on PC and Xbox One. You simply buy the Dolby Virtual Processing app for $15 from the Xbox or Windows Store, and you get that same effect for any game that supports it. From there, plug any pair of headphones into the PC sound card or Xbox controller, and Dolby's Atmos Processing handles everything for a full 3D experience. Fundamentally, it's the same idea as the PlayStation Platinum set. Both use a stereo headset, but the algorithm steps in to create that sense of space. The advantage on Xbox One, you pay a one-off fee for 3D audio, and you can use whatever headphones you like. But again, the drawback is only a handful of games are due for support. The likes of Overwatch is confirmed by Blizzard to get an Xbox patch in autumn, and we're also promised Dolby Atmos modes in Gears of War 4 and Crackdown. In other words, it's too early to make a call on Xbox One's use of 3D audio right now. At the very least though, the PC implementation of Atmos gives a preview of what we can expect there, with Overwatch offering a mode that works on simple headphones. This is where Plantronic steps in. To make things straightforward, Plantronic has put together the RIG 400 headset, due out in autumn this year for £50. This budget set is targeted mainly at PC users, but works universally across PS4 and Xbox One as well. What sets this apart from the current branded Plantronics headsets though, is the package bundles a Dolby Atmos license into the bargain. So for when Xbox One does get support down the line, you're covered. And even until then, you can at least select the feature in its audio menus to get a virtual 7.1 surround sound mix in most games, rather than true object based audio. But again, right now PC has two major titles to show off properly. Overwatch and Star Wars Battlefront. Now sadly, Battlefront has an implementation that only works over HDMI bitstream, meant for home cinema setups or headphones with an external converter. It's frustrating, but it meant the Atmos mode stayed greyed out when I plugged this RIG 400 in, and the same goes for any simple analogue headphones. It's a shame, but it leaves a watch on PC as the best way to preview Dolby Atmos, and the experience we can expect on Xbox One later on. So let's get to it. Looking at the RIG 400, Plantronics has given me one of the entry-level headsets in its range. It's a purely wired solution for PC with a split for audio and microphone via an included wire cable. There's no amp included in the box, with that being reserved for the higher-end 600LX and 800LX models. But it does get the basics right here, with two high-quality 40mm drivers and the benefit of keeping a light 200g profile built using comfortable, durable materials. So that's two ear cups with cloth padding over memory foam and a breathable nylon headband that arcs in the middle of the headset. The real party trick of the RIG 400 is its modular design, built in three pieces. At the centre of it is a resilient matte plastic band that flexes and twists in every way without any sign of breaking. It's very simple and the ear cups and headrest simply slot into the grooves on either side. There's room for adjustment with the speaker placement at least, locking into one of three points to each flank while the elastic headband has enough flex to give you a more tailored fit. In terms of design, it's otherwise understated next to most gaming headsets, and really, that's a plus in my book. Don't expect flashy branding or multicolored LEDs, this is purely about function and ease of use. You get an inline control for volume and mic mute. For online chat, there's an attachable bendable boom mic with noise cancelling, which I found gives a clear recording when plugged into PC with Audacity running. Having a wire draping from each ear cup is a nuisance if you're used to wireless sets like I am, but for the price point it's really par for course. The highlight really is the comfort of the set though. Being wired means no need for a lithium ion battery or a wireless module, which in turn means less bulk and weight. It's easy to sit for hours with the RIG 400 as a result of that, which I can't say for most headsets I reviewed at Digital Foundry. There's some which clamp too hard on the temples or use a sweat inducing pleather material. Not a problem here at all. But if there is a downside to the materials here, it's that the noise cancellation on the speakers isn't as strong as it could be. These completely cover the ear, but thanks to the airy materials, it's still easy to hear your surroundings with them on. Equally, people around you will hear game noise spill out. It's slightly more of an issue than Sony's Platinum headset, for example, but bearable. 
But what about sound quality? Well, frequency response is surprisingly flat, which is a good thing. The highs are clear and playing a game like Overwatch for a few hours, I don't get any fatigue from higher pitch effects. Equally, bass response is reasonably measured for a gaming headset with only a slight push. It doesn't boom as some FPS focused gaming headsets are prone to do, which means you can at least pick out the mid-range of the mix comfortably in games and films. Now, if you do prefer a more coloured sound, there's plenty of software on PC to change it, but what you're left with otherwise is a surprisingly neutral sound as a starting point. It's a wide headset with an impedance of 32 ohms too, meaning driving the headphones with mobile phones isn't an issue either. For PS4 and Xbox One use, it's worth noting that I did have to turn up the volume manually in the Xbox One menus to get a decent level of noise. On PS4 it sounded great out of the box, but this rested at 50% by default on Microsoft's machine. It's an easy fix and plugged directly to the controller, sound quality holds up nicely. So how does it play with Dolby Atmos? Well, the fact the RIG 400 isn't equipped to receive HDMI audio out of the box is a problem. Overwatch is rare for offering a headphone option. Unfortunately, most Atmos content is delivered via HDMI bitstream, meaning you need a receiver bundled in here to make it work with Battlefront. The results are still superb though. Usually open ear headphones deliver a stronger soundstage, a wider field of sound that gets the 3D sound mix across more effectively. To my ear though, the RIG 400 does an excellent job for a closed cup design, and in a game as fast and aerial focused as Overwatch, Dolby Atmos pays off massively. In fact, I only realised how effective object based audio is once I toggled it off. The sound stage becomes predictably flatter when resorting to a simpler virtual 7.1 you're left with a basic 360 degree field on one axis and really it strips out any ability to pinpoint where the characters are above or below you. Heroes like Junkrat and Farah make a great example of this. A Dolby Atmos sound mix means you can distinguish between a character firing down at you and one directly to your side. It gives a big advantage against players with a lot of airborne movement. Now my only gripe with 3D virtual processing is a long standing one for virtual audio in general over the years. The problem is it's still a simulation of the real thing. A reference Dolby Cinema will use over 20 real speakers to move objects around the room, but the virtual approach has to rely on an algorithm to do it. Enter an enclosed space with lots of reverb for example, and gunshots can sound too processed, almost artificial and warped. It happens only in the build up to Overwatch's matches, but it's always a reminder that it's an approximation. As a low cost alternative though, it's a small downside and the benefits far outweigh the negatives. As for the RIG 400's use of the effect, no doubt Plantronics headset is nicely catered to handling a virtual 3D mix down. The fact is though, this isn't the cream of the crop for the headphones, even in its own range. You can experiment using your own headphones on PC and download the Atmos trial to experience several demos. I've even had more convincing results with open cup solutions like Audio Technica's Wired 8700. The distinguishing point though is the RIG 400 is considerably cheaper and bundles in that license to get a flavour of the experience. As a way to sample 3D audio in games early, ahead of Xbox One's full adoption of the technology, it's a very strong starting point for those interested. Overall then, I'm glad 3D audio in gaming is on the rise and that headsets like this are marketed with that in mind. Sure it's early days for Dolby Atmos in games, but there's a lot to love from what I've tried in Overwatch. If Xbox One brings the same experience as what we have on PC, it's every bit as convincing as what I've tried from PS4's 3D audio design in Uncharted 4. Already, a game like Crackdown 3 stands to benefit in a similar way too, with the series spent so long vaulting across large open spaces. As well as games like Gears of War 4, I'm told many more games are in the pipeline for support on Xbox One as well. But for now, that's where we stand. What we have in the RIG 400 is a comfortable light entry point headset, and the choice to bundle it with Dolby's Atmos licensing makes a lot of sense. If you have any experience with 3D audio in games or movies though, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts below. And as ever, if you found this review interesting in any way, please do like or subscribe to support what we do. But until next time, thanks for watching.